cut. So what I have here is the Smart UPS 3000. And this is by APC. And I'm gonna change the battery live, meaning that I am not gonna unplug anything. So the first thing to do is just to take this cover off. Now there is um, some, some hooks here where you might have to use a flathead, but normally you could just pull it out. So I'm just gonna pull this out. And right here, this exposes the battery. So the battery just needs to unscrew three screws. One, two, and three. Don't take these out. This is unnecessary. And, um, you know, so it's really the ones in the corner. One, two, and three. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, unplug this. So unplugging this is simply just pulling it out like, like so. And that's unplugged. And this goes on a swivel. So you can kind of turn it to unblock or expose uh, you know, any screws. So I'm gonna unscrew these and then I'm gonna pull this out. Now you can see here on the panel, I have this battery light blinking, which indicates to me I have to change the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The other thing I wanna show is that, you know, this is the model number, but the, the uh, number for this particular battery is usually RBC43. So that's the replacement battery. And I'll have that in the description section. Now let me pull this battery out and show you the replacement. So I've just loosened up these four, I mean three screws here. These three screws right here. And I put the screws here. And now all I have to do is pull this out. Now keep in mind, I already took this out. So let me just pull it out now. Wiggling. And just, uh, you know, pulling it out like so. So I'm gonna make sure this doesn't get hooked. But this comes out and it's it's fairly heavy. It's about 40 pounds. So you wanna use two hands. Yeah, so it's about 40 pounds here. So you wanna use two hands. And you can see here, here's the uh, model number, which is RBC43 is really what you wanna look for. Now it just so happens, this is the same model as these SM three uh, thousands, I believe. So, so these are uh, you know the same type of batteries. Now I'm going to use both hands and take it out. Notice, as I mentioned, I'm doing this live, so I have not unplugged any of the servers out in the back. I am simply uh, you know doing this once again, uh, swapping it live. So. That this thing is super heavy. Lay it down here. Super, super heavy. Now I'm gonna take the one in the box and just slip it in. So you really uh, just wanna examine it, make sure it doesn't have any foreign, uh, you know, uh, styrofoam or paper or anything like that on it. this in seating it and plugging this particular thing in so so just plugging the plug back in clicking it in place. Now you'll notice that this light is still gonna blink. Now a quick way to just reset it is to push the test button. So, so I push the test button and um, maybe I also have to wait until this battery charges first also. So if I push this and I hold it in, you'll notice it's testing. And the charge is not quite charged, but you'll notice a reset. So press and hold the test button, and that'll reset the lights here. So now, now this is in good working order. I'm gonna put these screws back in. Just hand tighten them for now.
And, uh, and then I'm gonna put the face plate back. So I'm gonna do this evenly. So this is nice and seated now. And the front panel is all set. Everything's great. Gonna just uh, you know mount mount this on one side, slip this in, and then just push this other side in. And you're really all set now. So that's it. That's how you uh, replace the battery on these APC units. Thank you so much for watching and please thumbs up and subscribe. And uh, thank you so much for watching.